Hi everybody, welcome back to Sign Me Sensations. This is um, video number two, and um, today is kind of exciting. I, um, I hope you remember that on my last video, um, I referred to, um, I wanted to do a segment on breeding the Siamese cat and kind of go through the steps of what that would be like. So I introduced you to my female cat, Dawn, and she was pregnant and um, so she would be what um, breeders refer to as a queen. Um, however, me being the technical person that I am, I prefer the term mama. Um, so um, this is Dawn. Um, and something exciting happened on Thursday of last week. Um, she had her kittens. So uh, today we're gonna talk about that. So um, um, also um, technical that we are um, and fancy people, we actually refer to her as a chubby cub at home. This is a um, cubby. So I will refer to her as cubby from here on out. Um, so on Wednesday night, cubby came um, Normally, we set up a nesting spot for them prior to giving birth. Um, that's where I am right now, so um, you'll you'll see that the environment that I'm in when I'm doing these videos sometimes is going to change. Um, there is a reason for that. So we set up a nesting area for the females before they're going to give birth, and we try to keep them in that environment prior to the birth. That way, we don't have any kittens to find. We don't want him being born in the garage in some tiny little bat cave where we can't find them. And there are reasons for that. But so about a week or so before we expect them to be delivering, we start to make sure that at nighttime especially, um, the mama is in the nesting hole before we go to bed. Well, Wednesday night, we knew it was getting close. She'd just been kind of hanging around with me a lot and you know, following me, literally following me around all day long. But at about eight o'clock, she disappeared. So I was like, really, Ugh, really? So my husband and I searched the entire house and we could not find her. And so we were like, <sighs> so I have a 20 year old daughter who had already gone to bed not at eight o'clock, by this time it's like 10 o'clock. But they shut the door, I'm not going in there to try to find out. And I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. She's probably in there with her. My 20 year old knows what's going on. So I said, okay, well, that's her problem. She should have shoot her out. She has kittens in her bed in the morning. That's her problem, not my problem. So we went to bed. So figured whatever. So I get up the next morning, Thursday morning, and I come out of my bedroom and sure enough, Kevy's on the floor yelling her full head off at me. Mom, mom, oh my God, where have you been? And of course I'm like, excuse me, little girl. I looked for you last night. You're the one that was not around. You should have been looking for me. I did my thing. And so I, of course, scoop her up and I'm like, oh, poor baby, mom, mom, you know, and I'm, and I'm holding her and I'm like, okay. So she immediately starts having contractions and I'm like, oh, are you serious? You do not get to have your babies on top of me. So I rush her in to here, into the um, nesting spot. And of course, I didn't have any breakfast. I didn't even get a drink of water, nothing. I'm in my pajamas and I'm like, oh, Cubby, really? Now, Cubby is a very sweet, loving cat, as you know, you've seen from the videos. And, but she's very needy when it comes to birthing. And she has a sister, um, uh, Buffy and if they're in this together she will let Buffy comfort her and when Buffy's having babies she's there for Buffy they're very very close but if Buffy's not there from the very beginning she won't accept anything also my daughter she will also let my daughter comfort her however my daughter was still in bed so it was me it was only me that was all she was gonna accept so I was in it for the long haul so I come in here and this is my bathroom by the way I'm on the floor this is my bathroom closet and this is the floor <laughs> so um, so I get down on the floor and I get into the bottom closet they're on the floor of the bottom closet this is the shelves there's a, like a blankie on the floor here and um, so um, I'm in the closet and she's 
starts having babies and literally like within 10 minutes she's had the first one I mean she was like boom that was that she barely managed to wait for me it was amazing so within the next five hours she had five babies which is amazing for her I mean amazing like for cubby that's a huge litter so because um, even though she's kind of a big um, mama cat she usually has a litter of between three and four um, and so for, for her five was really a big litter I was amazed especially since I was really expecting a small litter this time um, so we were really excited and um, and with her you literally have to a handhold the entire time I I was there the entire time and I um, you know I pet her and tell her what a good mommy she is and I kind of like pull the kitties out you know generally speaking cats can do this on their own obviously um, if if you're not there they're going to have them in some back corner and you know there's gonna be but my cats I suppose you could say they're trained I'm their midwife um, so they're used to me being there they're calmer they're happier they're you know and I help out so you know um, if you know if, if she's getting stressed or whatever like the little babies they're like <laughs> It's really funny because like she's in there and she's like having contractions and she's like oh my god this is so stressful and there's like babies and there's like two babies here and they're like ah and they're like screaming at her and yelling at her because they're like I don't know I just want to be like ah. and then the babies are like screaming and yelling and she's like dude I've got to have another one right now and it's very stressful <laughs> and and she's like they're like trying to feed and she's like dude you have got to leave me alone right now because I'm still trying to have your other brother so I mean like I don't know how like these poor animals do this without help because I'm like I will like take them and push the other ones aside and like on this case I actually found like a warm wash rag put it over the top of like the three that were already born and like put them in like a warm wet cocoon so that they quieted down and she was like able to chill and she was like oh, thank and so, I mean, like, I'm there and I help them out. This is just something I do. It is not something that cats in general as wild creatures need, but it's something that I do as a breeder. Do not know if other breeders do it. It's just something that I do. And it is, be you know, Cubby likes it. Um, it just makes it easier for her. Um, you know, obviously they would do it on their own. Um, I just, you know, she doesn't need that stress. It's something that makes it easier for them to handle, you know, and especially if you're going to be having a cat that's going to be doing this one multiple times and you're asking them to do these things for you, um, you're, you're asking them to do this for you. So you may as well be helping them out too. Anyway, so we're going to be taking them through the steps. I'm going to be putting forth, um, some videos from that day. I'm hoping to put them together, but if not, I'll put them through individually so you can see some from the actual day of the birth so you can see the little tiny babies moments after they were born um but if not um check out my instagram it's under siamese sensations like my facebook page siamese sensations um and i'm going to show you some of the babies right now um see how long she lets me um see how she does bring some up here this is one of the babies look Yes. So they are six days old today and their eyes open after three days they start to open. That is just my kittens. Oh, so you don't like that very much yet. He says no. Let's see. Look. Oh, isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Anyway, um, please don't forget to, um, to like and subscribe to my page um, and if you have any questions or comments or anything you would like um, to see in the future on my page please let me know I am new to this and I would really like any comments or suggestions um, like to get this going um, here's another one. Oh, he just woke up See, this one's got a lighter nose. I think this one's gonna be a lilac point. Um, and I'll be posting more videos. My next one, I'll probably just start introducing you to the kittens. I just wanted to kind of walk you through the birthing process this time. Thank you, and like I said, um, please give me your likes and um, um, follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page at Siamese Sensations, and please subscribe to my page. Thank you for watching.